What is up guys, Decacrafter here, and today we're setting up a paper MC Minecraft server. Well, I guess MC stands for Minecraft, but anyway, we're setting up a paper server, so I'm going to be teaching you a lot of things today. Make sure you stay until the end. I'm going to teach you not only how to make your server, but how to adjust the RAM on your server and check your computer to see how much RAM you have for those that don't know. How to use your server console for doing admin things like OPing yourself and other server commands. And also how to use the whitelist and do things like turn on and off hostile mobs and change the difficulty on your server. You will also need to port forward in order for your friends to join you. A link to port forward tutorial will be down in the description. I've been answering a lot of questions here on my YouTube for over a year now, almost two. And for anyone that needs help, please reach out to me on Discord. The link is also in the description or down in the comments. Just leave a comment saying you need help. However, I recommend Discord because it's easiest for me to get to you. We can screen share if you need help with anything like that. Um, it just makes it a whole lot easier. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time, so if I've ever helped you out, help me out, please, and drop a like on this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you want to do is download paper. We're going to download the latest version of 1.16.3. That's the current version of Minecraft, but this tutorial will work no matter what version of Minecraft we're on. Just go ahead and use the links down in the description. This will take you to the latest download. Download the one at the top. Hit keep. Chrome says it can harm your computer because Chrome doesn't know what it is. It's just telling you to be careful. doesn't know what the download is. Don't worry. Hit keep. It's safe. Now we're going to go show in folder. Now the reason you want to use paper over something like spigot or just bucket is because paper is actually super optimized and fast. Um, you can not only use the paper plugins that are available here for depending on the version of Minecraft you're making it for, but you can also use spigot and bucket plugins as well. So not only will your server run better, but you have a huge variety of plugins that you're able to use on your server. Now that we've got paper on our desktop, we're going to right click our desktop and hit new folder. We're going to call this paper server. You can title it whatever you want, even if you want to just title it the name of your server. Oh, it jumped away. All right, and we're going to throw this in here. Next, what we want to do is actually we're going to rename this and we're going to rename this to server. The reason we're doing that is for when we create our run file, which is going to run our server, it's going to look for a file name called server. So we want to make sure we have the correct file name. Now I'm just going to copy a run that I already have, but what you want to do is right click, go to new, text document, and title it run. Now we're going to open it up, and you see it's blank, and I'm going to put this in the description if you guys want to copy and paste it, but we're going to create a 2 gigabyte Minecraft server, so this is good for like 10 15 players without lag, without, you know, mods or anything, uh, just plugins. So you should be good with this, but we're just going to put this in here. Now, XMS is the starting amount of RAM, 1024M. Another thing you can do is do 1G. That's one gig of RAM, and then you would change this to 2G, two gigs of RAM. Now we're looking for a jar file, and the jar file we're looking for is server.jar, which is this here. Then no GUI means it's not going to pop up a little GUI box. We're only going to see our server window because um, normally two server windows would pop up, but I don't like the other one and it's really not necessary at all. And then pause. This makes sure that if there is a crash, it pauses before closing so that you can see what the crash issue is. So that's just me explaining this little run to bat to you guys real quick or run text file. Now what we're going to do is go to save as and you're going to save it as run.bat and hit save. Once you do that, You'll see this new file right here. In order to check the amount of RAM on your computer, go down here to your Windows Start icon, right click, go to System, and then right here you'll see your RAM. Installed RAM, I have 16 gigs. So you wanna not use all of your RAM though, your game's gonna crash and stuff. So if you only have like four gigs of RAM, I wouldn't put three towards your game. I maybe wouldn't even do two. Four gigs is pretty low. If you have six, I would do two, three gigs of RAM to your server, uh, depending how many players you're going to be having on it. Again, if you're only having like 10, 15 people, two gigs should be enough for a basic Minecraft server. And for those of you like me who need a Minecraft server host, either because you just don't want to be hosting the server on your computer 24-7, or you don't want people connecting to your home network, 
or you simply just don't have the power in your PC, another option is to get a Minecraft server. I personally recommend Shockbite, and if you want to save 25%, you can use my affiliate code, DecaCrafter. Honestly, I don't know of any company that beats these prices. I tried looking around, and when you get that 25% off, like, it seriously helps. So a 2 gig server for your first month is like 3 something. So, you know, it... If you guys need a server, I would check out Shockbite. Their support's also really good. And again, if you do buy a server and you need help setting it up, go ahead and reach out to me. You guys are helping support me when you use my links, so I am here to help you. You're just going to run this. You'll see this pop up and it's going to create some new things here. Now it's going to pause and it will say press any key to continue. That's because it's going to want us to accept the EULA. If you see right here, uh, server.properties, it needs to create all those files and then failed to load EULA, you need to agree to the EULA. So press any key to continue, that's what it means. It means press any key to close if you see that error pop up. Make sure you read above that last line so you know what the error is. But if you're just running your server for the first time, it's because it created the EULA full, uh, file and you need to change the false in there to true. This is accepting Minecraft's terms and agreements, such as for those of you that are making a server for the public, you can't sell items that give an advantage cosmetics only. Um, there is ways around that, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm not a lawyer or anything, so let's continue forward. Now that we've done that, we're just going to run it again. And done. Right here, you see that there? Now our server is done. So, some server commands that you guys are going to want to know. If you type in help here, it'll actually show you all of the commands that you're able to use. You don't need to put the slash in front of it, inside of the console. Um, and you can do like say hello and if anyone's on the server it'll say server hello in their chat so they'll see that you'll see anything that players type in game whether it be a command or a message um, and this is where you would op yourself so i'm going to type op deca crafter and now i'm an admin on my server another thing i can do is whitelist add deca crafter now the whitelist doesn't do anything i'm going to show you how to connect to your server real quick when you what you want to do is when you launch minecraft for those of you that port forwarded already, um, if you haven't, again, go look at my tutorial down below. You have to do this for your friends to be able to connect. Go to the website canyouseeme.org and that will give you your public IP. That's the IP you're going to you're going to go multiplayer, add server, and put your public IP here for your friends. You don't do this. What you're going to type here actually is localhost or the number zero, and we're just going to name it tutorial uh, server done and you can see that the server's online if I log in you can see here I joined the game the reason I'm covering it is because it shows my IP and stuff when you join a Minecraft server it'll show everyone's IP that joins your server um, so yeah now we're on my Minecraft server and I'm admin so if I type slash help but now we're admin on the server so I can do slash game mode and creative whoops creative and now I'm in creative mode now, how do you use the whitelist? So, to use the whitelist, what you're going to want to do is go down to server.properties, edit with Notepad++. Um, you can just edit with normal Notepad if you don't have Notepad++. If you would like Notepad++, I love it because it organizes it like this. It's got different color codes and stuff for certain symbols, and it numbers the lines. Makes it super easy to look at. Again, link down in the description below. But you're just going to download the top link on there. So, this is the difficulty. This is where you do, like, easy... Um, hard, whatever you want to do for the difficulty. PvP is right here. You can turn that on and off. Um, this you don't want to touch. The area where it shows your IP, you don't want to touch that either. Um, port you want to leave the same. Yeah, server IP, leave that blank. Um, spawn NPCs, allow flight. This is just for um, certain mods sometimes allow flight you should turn on because you'll be in the air for a long time. It will kick players. Uh, I'm not sure if it kicks them from using Elytra, so if it does, make sure you turn allow flight on. Now here's our whitelist setting right here. You're just going to set that to true. Then save. And then we're going to go back in here. You can type this into console or type it in game. But we're going to type slash stop. And that will save the server and completely close it. Uh, the reason we stop the server is because if you make any changes to your server, whether you're adding plugins, which you would just throw into this plugin folder here, again, links to all the different plugin websites down below. Make sure you download for the correct version of Minecraft. Um, you're just going to drag and drop them in here, and then you're going to restart your server again. If you need a new world, just delete the whole world folder, and it will actually recreate an entire new world. Watch. So let's just delete that, run the server again. Now we just have to see if we refresh, server's down. 
wait for it to say done. All right, it says done. Now I'm going to cover it up a little bit. Join, and we should have a new spawn in a new world. I try to keep my tutorials really fast and to the point, guys. So again, if I helped you out, please drop a like. And if you need help, please go to my Discord or comment down below. I've been answering questions for over two years now, and I'm still going to continue to get to all of you, even if you see this question in a year, two years. Maybe I'll be here in three or four or five years. Who knows, guys? I just know that I love making servers, and that was something I really enjoyed when I was a kid. Or when, I mean, I would say I'm still a, a kid. I'm still fairly young. But, um... I'm 23 for those of you that really want to know, but I wanted to share the experiences that I had when I was younger with you guys. I know a lot of my audience is also younger as well, some of you older, and um, yeah, I just wanted, this is something I loved doing, and I thought you guys would too, so don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.